Alright, we are on the next episode now. It's a coincidence because I'm just recently playing Bengal and got to get the Bengal achievements. Uh, that is Rito Man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't have the Bengal achievement yet. I'll go for that one soon enough as well. Um... You know what? <laughs> I have a little bit of extra money, and... I have a little bit of extra unrest. We'll go with the Theologian. Sure. Sounds spectacular. Now, who do I want to hit next? VJ is still a ways away. I have a claim on this, right? Six tax. Yeah. Just go for it. I just need not to make the peace deal too early. Ah, crud. Yep, lost my uh, rivalry. That's unfortunate. Need to find a new rival. It's going to be hard to find a decent rival soon enough. And this takes a hit on my Diplo wrap, yeah. Still making respectable progress, all things considered. I guess I could just give it to a Mednagar. What do they do to finish? Five years, which will take a little bit longer when I give them more. They've. Uh, if I don't keep, take that for myself, though, I won't be able to put claims on Kathiawar and uh, Baglana. Oh, that's right. There's still Bengal to put claims on. That big coalition thing is five years away. Okay. Coalition's only gonna grow. Ooh, Bihari is my culture group. Yeah, I guess I am uh, in the east here. Is this my culture group too? No. Jarkandi uh, is not. What about up here? Yeah. There's actually an easy way to check, and the easy way to check for culture group is through here, the culture map mode. You click on your culture, there it is. Not a very big culture group, but apparently Nepali and Assamese are, which means that I should probably be uh, putting some pressure up here. Stuff's a little easier to deal with. Not sure why autonomy here is so high, but we don't need it high. Yeah, messing with nationalism. It's almost gone in Bengal. I haven't spent very long at peace, so... Local autonomy does tick down by uh, 0.1 per month at peace, but... Peace sucks. No one wants to be at peace all the time, so... We're not going to do that. Even Mao is getting grabby. I really think I need to start pushing east as well. Baranasi, and then we will work on uh, Lower Doab as well. Still have some Bengali Patriot Rebel chance. 
Not sure where. Oh no, it's going down. Okay. Money's not exactly a pressure point at the moment. Neither is manpower, really. I mean, there's two things I can do with the money. I can uh, try and hire better advisors, particularly in military. Although morale is kind of nice, so I'll probably stick with him for a bit. And the other is to like go way over my force limit, which I don't see a need to do. I can build up my navy a bit, I suppose. I'm gonna be pretty strong in Bengal, I'd imagine. Yeah, I could get stronger though. And this way is better for trade. Unless I want to move my trade capital. What's my overextension now? 64%. Unfortunately, we get the Raj put stuff, so this is going to be another expensive coring job. It's alright though. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? We can take a diplomatic technology. <laughs> a diplomatic technology. Maybe I'll go up to four there. Three is pretty good for a number of reasons. Uh, if you do go exploration, it gives you enough range to actually colonize with exploration three and diplomatic three. And you also get heavy ships available, which depending on where you are, that can be helpful. It's not so good here. I'm projected to finish. And do I have any other vassals? Abednegar, Karnatic. I don't know if I can annex Karnatic in time. And no, I still have to feed them. Am I claiming now? Baglana. <laughs> and they insult me. <laughs> if you say so. As long as you're not Rajput or Central Indian. Oh, they're just generic. Thankfully, generic ideas are a lot less common than they used to be. It still kind of irks me that they couldn't have made them better. Like, there's no reason to make them that terrible. G generic ideas are hands down the worst set in the game. It's not even close. And the question is why? What purpose did that serve? I know if you make them too good then people are going to complain if they lose generic ideas in favor of something worse, but it's not even remotely in danger of happening because of just how terrible they made them. Okay, I'll let this finish and start on the next. I'd imagine John a little unhappy with me. Oh man, they're outraged. What are you so angry about? These rebels are nothing all of a sudden. Probably because I have uh, a, a faith that gives plus one tolerance to faith by default, and also got another tolerance from an event that's permanent. Yeah, you don't want to take that stab at five tax for an extra tolerance is totally worth it. It's like not even a decision one needs to think about. Which makes it kind of bad, honestly. I don't like that kind of non-existent choice element. It's too good to pass up, so you don't. I think we can see a little better balance than that. I have a feeling that they're going to take that and I'll have a claim on it. I mean, I could betray them. I could. I could do it. They're only tech 5. I'm also a tech 5. I need to pick a new rival. Really? I haven't discovered Ming? <laughs> I have now. I guess I'll rival them. Well, it's true. I mean, I could cut through Mong Yang or something. Or, uh... Even you sang and reach Ming very quickly. 
And Mong Yang has a gold mine, so we'll go there next. Or uh, I think we'll actually tackle the, the Coalition Babies first. The 1475ers. That includes Bengal. But I will say hi to you too soon, man. Don't you worry. I really just want nationalism gone. Nationalism by default is 30 years, and the unrest from it is half of the time. So humanist and administrative republic can cut the initial unrest and time you have any of nationalism in half. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff from humanist in that regard. But it just doesn't offer enough otherwise for my tastes. As for tech strategy, we are going to focus military until the next tech is plus 13 ahead of years, and then we are probably going to switch off of military to something else. Uh, cry because we got nobles demanded compensation, and that event is god awful. And um, yeah, then we'll I'll just focus on like admin or something. This is an alternative showcase. The uh, the other one you can see in like DDR Jake's videos, or I'll do something with it later, maybe where you pick exploration early, you explore using fleet rights over into South America or the Caribbean, declare war and seize a colony just before it finishes, then it will grow and finish, and then you have a core and can westernize in like fifteen hundred or earlier, depending on how quickly you reach admin four and get. Not uh, quest for the new world. But this is, in my mind, a reasonably viable alternative for most purposes. In other words, you just conquer like crazy until someone finds you, you take a province off of the Europeans, and westernize. Yes, it westernizes you much later, but you have neighbor bonus and you are ginormous. You want to be my vassal? They might. Amendagar, Carnatic. Is there a reason I should be doing that? What's my air situation? I don't have an air. Do I want an air? It's pretty likely I'll get one, so I might as well get one soon and limit the Regency damage. Can I put claims on you still, Bengal? No. And where in June of 1475? Okay. Arisi peasants are at 90% all of a sudden? From what? What are you doing? Oh, and they're going down. Well, what's up with that? Overextension is plus two. Okay, so let's just ignore overextension. Six tolerance, two from decisions and stability. If I were at perfect hundred legitimacy, I could do it. But my theology is pretty old. And none of these are accepted. Well, this is accepted. This still is nationalism. Yeah, that's a problem. I mean, I could lower autonomy, but I'd be almost guaranteed to be fighting rebels in doing it. Unless I can get another younger theologian or something, I probably shouldn't. I shouldn't do that there. Now in Bengal... We're getting closer to the point where I can get away with it. Oh, before that, though. Let's dump a few of the dated mercs. I really could afford to dump a lot of the mercs. And just tie her up. How many do I need? 
something like that. BJ will be next after Bengal. Yeah, I wish it still showed you the exact time the truce expires. It seems to be pretty... spotty. It used to give exact days, but they took that away for, um... performance reasons, apparently. Which I... Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that... that reason. <laughs> I'm not thoroughly convinced that it isn't just to pre prevent perceived abuses. But they said the reason was for, for performance, and maybe within this uh, engine's design, that's true. I'm not enough of an expert to uh, say for sure. So I shouldn't come down too hard. Okay, we are pretty well rid of mercs. That should allow us to afford a better advisor. The morale advisor is nice, but you know what is also nice? Monarch points. Ooh. Oh, but it's almost June. Man, I almost fell for that trap. <laughs> Claim all the things. I do have a claim on Wang Yang, and I did say I want to go over there. Oh, before I do anything else, I can rival either Jonper or Ming. Ming has me rivaled. I will counter rival Ming. It might open up some amusing. Yeah, see, like, the truce is over. The month hasn't rolled, but the truce ended. So it's not completely consistent in that regard. I'll never reach uh, Dali. Everyone hates my guts. Actually, that's not true. I could walk through Gwalior and... I don't know, not Mawat. Walk through Gwalior... <laughs> I can get military access with three people to go beat on Dali. Or I can just take a couple claims off of uh, Bengal and get out. We'll pick Barind. Whichever one you name as the Wargold does get a war score discount on taking it. Just so you know. Oh, you. <laughs> the one who was the uh, butt monkey of the coalition earlier. Ooh, tech six. And yeah, we are already almost uh, where we want to be. You know what? Why am I using elephant archers anyway? I'll let them uh, blow them up before upgrading my units. Oh, doesn't matter now. Reason I say that? Let's take a look at the outdated units. Oh. Yeah. Actually, no. Elephant archers are better because they have offensive shock, and when you're flanking, that is a stronger option. So, yeah, okay. Elephant archers are better. That's what I get for not memorizing it. I have a feeling like in previous patches, elephant archers were not better, but since the unit rework, they are. I think that's what's happened here. So, uh, anybody other than uh, Delhi and Bengal? Well, no one of note. This is just going to take a while. See, this modifier doesn't last very long, and 30 ducats isn't very much. So, unless I really have a good reason to fight the rebels, I just negotiate most of the time on that one. Now we got four relations. Still have that stupid royal marriage with John Fur. Uh. Barely matters. Yeah, this kind of tech lead in flanking, we're just not taking a lot of damage in India. Or anywhere, really. If you can get a tech lead, 
And the nice thing about military focus is if you look, yeah, I mean, I could actually go and beat the uh, Middle Eastern nations, even though they're technically in a better tech group and started ahead of me in technology. Yes, I'm lagging like crazy in everything else, but you just win all your wars. But you don't want to stick there. Once you're current in military tech, you're good. Get out of that thing. I will be getting out of that as soon as I can. I just want to make sure I'm current with the Western standards in military tech. And it will probably be either 7 or 8 where I switch off. Whoa, what happened? Oh, my uh, vassal abandoned the siege because of a nationalist uprising. Coalition is Kelati and Shonda. Kelati. No, no, not that one. That one. Now. I think they can be safely ignored. This time the intention is indeed to annex you. And apparently I had ships I got from annexing a vassal that are now fighting. Not really necessary. Military access. Yeah, watch me not care. Going for the easy stuff, low hanging fruit for the moment. Not much downside to doing it. What's my truce with Bamanis? I don't think there's really a rush for a claim there. Put on Kosh. There we go. Hmm. That's not bad either. Go rector it. I want claims on Jonfer too. When is that truce ending? Should be a while. Yeah, 1483. I need more diplomats. If only I had, say, diplomatic ideas. Or I had Diplotech 6 or something. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Whoops. This isn't Bengali, is it? No, it's just a Bengali claim. I can afford to declare on them and then take stuff. Isn't this a coalition war? Do they have more provinces somewhere? No, Malwa. Oh! You're in on this, Kosh? Garwal? I think they're over here, yeah.
Okay, I think now would not be a bad time to take my claims off of Bengal. And uh, leave a little siege stack behind. Not sure what's up with this war. I guess they're treating Kaladi as an ally and not a coalition member or something. Not quite sure why that is. It's not a lot of tax, so it's not like it's going to stick me with an overextension problem or something. March 1478 is the next day I need to be paying attention to see. Alright, lost Bengal is a valid rival. That's not surprising. Oof. I'm actually putting a little bit of effort into this. Not too much, mind you. It would be much better to go very slowly and uh, pick stuff, but yeah, I guess the uh, live commentary is forcing me to be a little more honest than I would otherwise with my movements. Let's see here. As soon as that claim finishes up, I will take out at least the star. What am I doing on war exhaustion? Very little. We're in pretty good shape there. Pretty good shape with the rebels too. And anytime you get those theologians, they're really good for this kind of game. And what other way is there to play it? What? What? Oh yeah, Truce with VJ and them is up. That's not good because I don't have a free diplomat. What are you fabricating on? Oh, I'm fabricating on Kosh. The thing is, like, this doesn't have nearly the pressure of the previous war, because I'm tech 6 over 4 on them. And they don't have the numerical lead any longer, like they had in the first fight. Don't really need a claim on Carnatic. It's a shame to lose a claim on VJ right before attacking them. I don't like that system where your truce expires as your claims expire. I think that's could use a look. But okay, not too many people are in the coalition just yet. No, so that I'm not already fighting anyway. Um, Majorai is a good province to make the Wargle. It is uh, pretty rich. And I will actually go down in speed here. Yeah, and that's like disgustingly one sided. Considering VJ's, in most people's mind, the power start of this region, although I disagree. I actually think that Bamanis and Mal are better starts than VJ due to their ruler and starting situations. Um, particularly uh, Bamanis really got buffed in Art of War, like super buffed. Okay, can't do that one yet. Can get rid of Kaladi. So I will get rid of Kaladi. Let's go ahead and core that. Same thing with the... These are only one tax provinces. There's not really a lot to them. Just gotta get them off the map. Don't want those eyesores. And we'll start at the top. So who else is fighting me now? Gudrat, Koshin, Malabar, and the Nad. So a lot of these guys are in on it. And they're pretty fast.
more easy stack maps. Actually, this is looking pretty one-sided, and Carnatic is already sieging that, so I'm going to switch and siege something else. Yeah, you, you'll see like a couple threads on the farm or something, seeing the cavalry is not that good. Well, I mean, unless you have a big combat ability advantage on it, you don't want to spam cavalry. It's not so good that, um, like a generic nation wants to build tons of it. But, if you have things that boost cavalry, it you can use it in bigger numbers and with a lot of success, too. Now, I don't want, I don't I would not advocate taking the tactics penalty for insufficient support. You want enough infantry on your front row so you're not taking a penalty. But aside from that, it hits really hard if you've like cavalry combat plus 20% and then you take aristocratic and buff that further. It's strong. I don't think it's as good as something like Prussia and it's 20% uh morale and tons of discipline, but uh, nothing really is otherwise. Okay, I'm just going to pick these guys up. And put these guys up, and we should get a mostly carpet here. It doesn't look like anyone else feels like showing up. Alright, one more part. 